Hey guys, Six from Craft here, and in today's video, we will be, I'm going to be showing you how to download the, um, the worst client mod for Minecraft. I'm not talking about, like, the worst, like, worst client. I'm talking about, like, W-U-R-C-T, that client. So, anyway, so, you want to search worst client... 1.20.1 and you want to click on this on this website www.worstclient.net and it should say 1.20 then you want to click on whichever one is the newest one so like this for now this time at this time the best one like the newest version is better x-ray so i'll click on that don't click on this ad hit close and then you just want to scroll all the way down and then right here should be download section and you want to download worst client now whichever version it is and then it should pop up right here then you want to download the fabric api like that and now what you want to do is on so now you need to open up the um now you need to open up file explorer so i'll be right back so now you want to go to the bottom of your screen right where it says type here to search you want to type percent app data percent and hit enter and this folder should pop up so now you want to find the dot minecraft folder right here you want to open that and then try to find the mod section now i have this right now but i'm just gonna get that out of here so and then if there isn't a mods section like this isn't here then you want to right click over here in the empty box where there's no folders hit new folder and then just name it mods all lowercase and minecraft will automatically know that this is the mod section so now you want to open up a separate file explorer and go to downloads and then right here these two fabric api and worst client put that right there then you can exit out file explorer and now that's all you need to do you can, you can close this and this and now you can just open up your minecraft launcher might take a minute to load once it loads this should pop up fabric loader 1.20.1 if it doesn't you want to go to your browser and you want to go to curseforge.com and then search for um then you want to search for fabric oh wait no first you have to go minecraft then you have to type fabric and then Uh -huh. Never mind. You want to go to the search bar and type fabric 1.20.1. And then you want to go to the fabric the mc.net. This is what it will look like. This is the official Minecraft mod download. So you want to hit download here. And then this will pop up. Do not click download for Windows. Hit download universal jar. And then you want to double click on it. Hit OK. And then you want to just keep everything the same. Get the newest version 1.20.1. Keep this at the newest version. You want everything at the newest version. Then you want to click create. Make sure create profile is on. And then just hit install. And you do want you do want to actually close out the Minecraft launcher. I forgot about that. 
and then I'll start downloading. Then I'll say fabric loader, whatever version for whatever version has been successfully installed. Many mods will also require you to put the fabric API into the mods for we already did that. So that means that if we open the Minecraft launcher, it should be ready. And as you can see, it is ready. And it should pop up here. If it doesn't, you can click new installation. And then it should be right here. Release fabric loader point whatever version, whatever version Minecraft you want. You just want to click on that and hit create. And then once you do, you want to hit play. And then you just want to find whichever version it is. And yeah. Then you hit play on Minecraft, and it might take a while to load since you've never downloaded this mod before, but yeah, I'll see when it loads. And guys, it is loaded, and if you see in the bottom left corner, and it just says Minecraft 1.20.1, you've done something wrong, so try to rewatch the video, but if it says slash fabric, and then in this it says modded, then you've done it correctly. So you can create a new world or play in whatever world you want, and remind, I'm going to remind you, this is a hacked client, so you... You definitely do not want to play on any servers not like on this. You will get banned. And we are loading in, and here we go. So now you can hit right control to open up this menu. And these are all the different cheats. So if you go down here, the most common one you've probably seen on YouTube videos is Kill Aura. Which is basically just, you see a mob and you walk up to it, automatically starts punching it. I'm not touching my mouse right now, I'm not even looking at it. And it's just automatically killing it. There's also a new setting actually called, where is it? Combat. It's called Aim Assist. Boom. Bat. So it automatically makes you look at a mob. I think. Wait, what? No, not filter animals. So you want to turn off this. And then, anytime you get close to a mob, it'll automatically make you look at it. Look, so I don't even, I'm not even moving my mouse other than hitting the punch button. Yeah, it's really good for PvP if you want to troll your friend. Because it looks like you just have really good aim. But again, don't do this on a server because they they just know they have a mod on pretty much every server, every like um like well known server 
they have a mod that makes it so you can automatically detect when someone hacks. So only use this in single player. But anyways, if I, I'm just gonna try to find a plains biome. And we are here. Now I'm going to summon an iron golem. Oops. Iron golem. And now it automatically makes me look at it. I can even get a sword real quick. Boom, 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 boom. Even while I'm jumping. I'm not moving my mouse right now, it's automatically doing this. And then yeah, so that's aim assist. Then there's also fight bot. Just goes around automatically killing the nearest mobs. So yeah, that's pretty cool. If you need food, you can do that. Then there's also, what else is there? There's click aura, which just means anytime you click it automatically, like hits the nearest mob. And then also there's movement, which is stuff like automatically walk. I'm not touching the keyboard right now. It's auto sprint, you can combine that with auto walk. Then there's also boat fly. I take a boat and I get in. Should be able to fly. Yep. You just hold down the space bar and then you can just fly around. Now the second you disable this, you're gonna fall. Bunny hop. Which makes it so you jump automatically. But only when you're sprinting. And then there's also, what else is there? There's flight. There's walking on water. There's, what else is there? Oh, there's spider, which is really cool. So, like, if I take a bunch of oak planks real quick, hold on, let me get out of Then I can just walk up to a wall and I automatically start climbing it like it's a ladder. There's clearly no ladder here. Because if I turn off spider, yeah, I'm just walking into a wall. Then there's also a bunch of other ones for blocks. Then there's also stuff like auto tool, bone meal, or excavator, which is really cool. Just select an area. And then you can go into like spectator mode, fly down, and then why not right here? Um, Han. Then you can select this, and then. And you just hit enter and it'll scan the area. And my hands are not on the keyboard right now. Now, sometimes you, you do get stuck like this. And sometimes you just have to like switch to spectator mode. There, now I should be flying, and then, yeah, it'll just automatically mine every block in the area, and it is done. So now it mined out basically this entire chunk, and I broke this block, so yeah, it's pr pretty much just a perfect chunk right out of the world. In fact, on. Oh no, that's not even close to the size of one chunk. 
Oh, let's let's mine this area right here. So I need to go to excavator. Boom. Bop. Then you just dig down. On. Yep, you see, just start like digging down. And then you can go as far as you want. And like I'll do here. Enter, so now it's scanning the area for how many blocks. And as you can see, it's doing pretty well with its mining. And yeah, this is really cool, especially in Creative Mode. In Creative Mode, it automatically breaks blocks, so it's really good. And it's almost done. And I'm not sure if it breaks water or not. I'm not positive that it does. And yep, I'm done. And as you can see, it didn't break the water. But what? Oh, did I not? Did I not do it far enough? I did from here to here. Oh, so I missed this part. But as you can see, it took out an entire chunk right there. And then, hold on. There's a bunch of other ones. Instant bunker. It just means... Hold on, right? Bop. Yeah, pretty cool. Then, scaffold walk, tunneler, and yeah, it's, that's what that is. And then, yeah, it's, that's mainly it. There's still a bunch of other ones that you can test out. So yeah, you can combine different ones, but just remember, do not do it on a server. Please do not do it on a server. And if you do and you get banned, just know that I warned you and it's not my fault. So yeah, hope you enjoyed today's video and bye.